In this video, I'm going to walk you through your Travify account to show you how to navigate it. First, let's walk through how to set up your profile in Branding. To do so, select your name up at the top right and select the Profile option. From here, you can customize your profile with your logo, photo, and contact information. This branded profile will appear on every itinerary and proposal that you share or send to a client. You only have to complete your profile once and everything will save for you. Let's go ahead now and explore our account settings. To do so, select your name up at the top right hand corner once again and select account. In your account, you can find your billing information and access your past invoices. You can view the usage to see how many people are viewing your itineraries and forms, shared library items, and more. You can also export your contact information from your data area. By selecting the Team tab, you can begin to set up or view your team here. If you are a team admin, this is where you'll be able to add, remove, change the roles of your team members, and more. If you're curious to learn more about Teams, make sure to check out the Team Getting Started video guide. In linked accounts, you can turn on supplier integrations that are connected within Travify, set up and manage analytics from both Meta and Google, as well as setting up your invoicing through Stripe. Next, you'll see your referral program. This is a referral code that you can use to share out with your friends or colleagues that they can sign up for Travify with a discount and in return you earn a commission credit towards future Travify purchases. Below this will be your security area where you can access your security settings to update your login, email, and password. You'll also be able to set up your two-factor authentication, change the phone number, or if you want to do a forced logout. And finally, in general, you can manage your core settings like setting up a domain, turning on and off features, and more within your general settings area. Now, let's take a step back into our Travify account where at the top, you can create and manage your trips. Go ahead and select the trip option. To begin creating a new trip, just select the new trip button and select whether you wanna start with an itinerary or with a proposal. Once the trip is created, you can include additional items such as multiple itineraries, proposals, forms, and decisions. At the top of your screen is where you'll be able to access your pages. This is where you can create and build a website or landing pages using the Page Builder tool. You can also create as many pages as you want. Going back into our homepage, you can also access Marketplace. Marketplace is where you can explore content created from other Travify users and suppliers like destination, cruise, hotel content, and more, including forms, task lists, and page templates. Next to Marketplace is your Contacts. Contacts is Travify's built-in CRM tool where you can store and easily organize all of your clients' contact information. If you need to access Travify's invoicing tool, you can click on your name up at the top right. Select Invoices. And this is where you'll be able to manage all of your invoices for your professional fees. Now let's take a step right back out. The last thing I want to point out is where you can manage your task reminders and automations, which you can access by clicking the clipboard right by your name up at the top right to view all of your tasks and automations or by adding a general task. But that's it. That is a quick overview of your Travify account. Check out the other videos we have listed in our support center to learn all about these features and tools we highlighted.